In this lesson, we'll look at how to solve a collision problem involving a ballistic pendulum. The question reads, a ballistic pendulum, a device for measuring the speed of a bullet, consists of a block of wood suspended by cords. When the bullet is fired into the block, the block is free to rise. How high does a 5.0 kilogram block rise when a 12 gram bullet traveling at 350 meters per second is fired into it? Let's begin with an illustration. Here is my ballistic pendulum, and this is the block of wood. The bullet, which I'll represent in orange, has a constant velocity, which I'll represent by the letter V, the lowercase letter V. And it has a mass of 12 grams, which I'll represent in kilograms, just so that we're consistent. 0 0.012 kilograms. Eventually, when this bullet hits the block of wood, they will have a combined mass. And if I represent the mass of the block with capital letter M, and add that to the mass of this bullet, that's capital M plus little m, it too has a velocity which we don't know, and I'll represent that with the capital letter V. And what this will do is push this up a height, which we don't know and I'll represent that by the capital letter H. Now the first thing that you want to do with these types of collision problems is determine whether it is elastic or inelastic. An elastic collision is when the objects bounce, whereas inelastic is when the objects stick together, and this is an example of inelastic. The reason why we want to know that is because it determines what type of formulas we will be using moving forward. So since the collision here is inelastic, we have to apply the conservation of momentum formula. Remember, the conservation of momentum formula looks something like this, where mv, mass times velocity, that's equal to the momentum, I'll represent momentum by p, before the collision is equal to the momentum. Remember, the mass, once they are combined, is m plus big M times capital V for the velocity after. Now another formula to consider is that when this bullet and block are embedded into each other, they will have kinetic energy, which ends up pushing the unit upwards. Kinetic energy is calculated using the formula half mass times the velocity raised to the power of two. As this unit gets pushed all the way to its highest level, once it stops ascending to this height, then it will have potential energy. So the kinetic energy of the block and bullet goes into the potential energy once it stops ascending. Therefore, we can write a second equation where we have half the combined mass of the bullet and the block, little m plus big M, times the velocity, which is capital V, raised to the power of 2, is equal to, and potential energy is calculated using mass times height times the acceleration due to gravity being g. So again, using this part on the right side here, we have little m plus big M times the height, and that's what we're looking for, times the acceleration due to gravity being 9.8 meters per second squared. Now notice, this factor and this factor will cancel out if we start to solve this. Simplifying this, we end up with v squared over 2 is equal to the height times 9.8. Now, we obviously need to know what capital V is equal to in order for us to find out what h is. Capital V can be found by isolating it from here, where I have, if I divide both sides by m plus v, I get little m times little v over m plus big M is equal to capital V. I'll take this expression and substitute it right into there, and you'll see why that's important. m v over m plus big M raised to the power of 2 over 2. 
And of course, we want to find out what h is, that's capital H. So we divide both sides by 9.8, and that will eventually bring it down here. We have all these values. We have little m. We were told in the question that it is 0 0.012 kilograms. We know its velocity, 350 meters per second. And of course, we know these two. 0 0.012 plus 5 kilograms. That makes 5.012. So that number right there represents this expression, 5.012. Using our calculator, at the top, I have 0 0.012 times 350 divided by 5.012, raise that to the power of 2, and then that gets divided by 2 times 9.8, which gives us a height of 0 0.0358 meters. Converting this into centimeters makes it 3.6 centimeters high. And there you have it. That is how to solve an inelastic collision problem involving ballistic pendulums.